Well, howdy there, folks! Uh, yes, it's me again, MG Iceman, aka Mental Iceman, if you happen to uh, have seen my uh, gaming uh, pseudonym. It's kind of what I'm signed up to Steam. That's my Xbox Live tag, and it's my PSN ID. So, Mental Iceman, one word. Mental Iceman. So, anyway, enough of that. Welcome to Goddess 2.0.4. This is the video I should have made before, but I didn't, because I kind of just jump straight into it using my old home world which apparently you need to create a new one you can't use your old one uh, it's that kind of update again so um, right the updates apparently from uh, these from Steam it says a brand new home world so that's what you need to do is create a brand new home world there are new cards temples disappear on completion Different abodes only on different ground types. Locking underwater sculpting. Added raft to events for reinforcements. Landscape colours updated. Town statue updated. Incomplete cards now show next to the timeline button in Homeworld. Incomplete cards interface access shortcuts to timeline. New animations for followers. Brand new art and layout for the cards. Revised flow for the cards, leotards for your first two followers, straw hutter bound type, new belief collection tunes, event mission music, CPU optimization, new buried ruins, god beams from shrines, not shrines, shrines, uh, tutorial polish, water clicking visual effects, tons of book fixes, and much more. So, there we go. That's just the list of uh, new stuff, or updates, or whatever. Um, so as you can probably see there, the first two followers now have what I'm guessing are the leotards. So let's get rid of that, and wait for it to tell us to get rid of the other stuff. Remove all rocks. So... Yeah, you've probably uh, like seen all this before anyway, because I basically did this with the old update. Uh, it's, it's the same thing again. Um, hopefully we'll get to see newer boats, uh, if possible. Right, let's click to send the builder out. And as you can see there, you've got new... Um, indicators out. Uh, basically tells you what's going on and blah blah yakety schmackety so we'll just wait for the builder <coughs> oh, excuse me to finish constructing the abode following them lives in abode now wait for a boat to be built which it has been and now wow wow wait for followers in abodes to breed wow Wow! Well, there we go. <laughs> uh, we click to collect new ability because our population has reached the first mil milestone. And we unlock God Power Sculpting. So, yeah. I'm going to click X, but it will take us to the thing anyway. I don't know why we really need to do this. Uh, we, we did it all before, and um, yeah, it's kind of a bit of uh, unne unnecessary uh, thing. I mean, I, I clicked the X, basically saying I do not want to do this. I already know. Let me just get on with it. And then now we have to do it all over again. Yeah, come on then. God damn it! God damn it! I'm it! Thank you. And then we just get through the rest of it. So. 
So yeah, it's basically the same as before, you have to do all this crap. Even though you don't really need to, if you know what I mean. You shouldn't need to, I mean, for crying out loud, I'll, I'll click the X to say, yeah, just close it, I don't want to do this shit. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Didn't want to do that, we already know. So, we are back in the home world. Now I need to sculpt three plots. So, one of them is going to be there. Because that's where it wanted me to put one, obviously. Uh, click Builder to send names. Um, this you still can't move around yet. This is the annoying part. Uh, so I've got one there. There's one there, and I should be able to close that and send that builder out to. Uh, oh, I didn't know there was a plot there. Well, there you go. So uh, once that one goes in, ding, we reach the population of 10. And there we find one of the new cards. Uh, well, it says new cards, the new designs, basically. And they do actually look rather nicer than before. Uh, this card needs stickers to activate like before. So, uh, if we get rid of that. Now then, if we click and hold and drag with right mouse button, it's not the middle mouse button like before. You can actually use the right mouse button. And we basically need to open that chest there. That gives us a sticker. Blah 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 blah. So in other words, if we click on there then, see I clicked on the card, it takes you straight to the timeline. It's a nice little shortcut. If we take that and stick it on there, we have now unlocked that, that card! Hey! Right. Kapush! Magic! Um, right. Uh, now we just need to expand to a population of 15. Means let's just move that out of the way so we can plonk in about there. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that and expand all the well, expand fill in this bit so we can uh, And there we go, there's one of the new abodes. There's another one being built. Um, so I might as well tweak that a little there. Right, there we go, we've. Uh, got a new ability Builders will repair ruins. So what that means now is that, as it shows that beacon of expansion, and uh, so yeah, basically that means we can now uh, yeah, come on. I don't know. That's it. That, that should do. So, if we go click, I can go click, click, click. And how many do it? There's just two people needed to fill that. And the other two will go and build a boat. Now, obviously, that won't take very long because it's like a tutorial. And we. Click. Whoosh. 
week of expansion. Du, 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 du. And it expands quite a lot. That's pretty big. And like before, it disappears. Oh, and there's a chest out there. With a uh, sticker. So, now that's that done, let's click on there. And we have a follow up, follow up upgrade. Readers will generate belief. Which means now. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now you're going to take me to it, aren't you? Oh. Click on Belief to collect it. Click or click and drag to collect. This is the good thing. Pew pew pew! No more click 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 click. Uh, that means now I can sculpt grass. Because I'll, you need... Before you didn't really need uh, Belief. You could sculpt it. Uh, but now, basically, you need belief. Uh, sand is still free, by the way, to uh, discard, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, if I uh, just sculpt this back like so. I think I should be able to create another plot there. If that will fucking stop there. Thank you. That's still a bit of a pain. It's, it springs back sometimes. Um, now I'm not sure how much we can. Ah, there we go. That's created another plot for there. Um, let's see, can we, there are some parts, if you can't, see, oh, oh wait, yeah. you need to unlock this level of sculpting, because, such as at the bottom, oh, there's the, uh, the new effect, by the way, the water effect when you click on, um, if you try and sculpt, it will say you need to unlock this level of sculpting, because before, you were able to sculpt one layer at a time, it didn't matter how high or how low, but you could sculpt one layer at a time. Now, you can't. You need to, as it says, unlock that level. And before I forget, if possible, what was that? What the hell happened there, boy? Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, yeah, there, there's a good example. If you go from the bottom down here where you've got your sand levels, and as you go up you've got your grass levels, which take you up to there, which is the darkest green. That is that is pretty much the grass levels. Now, in this uh, new update, you've got a bit more. You've got these brown levels, these Slightly off for all the green level, blah, 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 off. But more brown levels and brown, brown, brown. Then you've got these purple ones. So, yeah, for some reason uh, they decided to add new layers and give us different colours for them. <laughs> Why that is, I'm not sure. I think it, uh, <laughs> it literally gives the game more depth. Um. So uh, yeah, we've actually got a, a few more colours. I'm not sure if it's the same amount of layers. I mean, if you want to sit there and count them, feel free, but I'm, uh, I'm not going to do that. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, here we have a shrine. ta -da! Uh, At the moment, obviously, we don't know what country, because... Uh, it needs to be built first. We have a god beam shooting from it. Um, we, you can still do the same because we now have belief. We, you can pretty much sculpt any grass level. So yeah, I mean that was a slightly higher level than before. 
there's slightly higher levels, you can sculpt that one. Uh, I don't think I can sculpt this brown one. Oh, I can! Okay. Uh, so apparently you can sculpt to quite high, really. Uh, but it does cost belief, like I said. So uh, let's just get this. Um, if the game will stop messing me about. Thank okay. you. And we have another sticker. Oh, there's one out in the open there. Click! That one's a bit silly, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, and there are now like, little gaps like that where you can. Uh, and, like before, I, th I think I mentioned you can't do what you used to be able to do. When you would like, double click and it would sort of create land, or uh, it, say if I double click there, it would make that bigger, if you know what I mean. And you can't do that now, which I did like that because. For example, when you've got something in the middle of land like that, you would be able to just sort of double right click and it would it would clear a piece of land like that there. And you would be able to get that chest. But now what you would need to do is drag that all the way up to there in order to access the chest. Then you will need to go all the way back and use more belief to replace its um yeah 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 so yeah oh oh I noticed before if you remember the uh the temple for the void of discovery yes you've got a funky little belt as well now oh hi there mateys so yeah um, I, I don't know if there's anything else new I haven't really Kind of been around to uh, to see exactly what's going on. Uh, I think that's the edge of the map. Uh, I'm not going to go too far in case I break the game again. Uh, well, hello. What's down there? Ooh, look at that! I honestly can't tell what they are, and if I click on them it won't tell me, so... Ooh, hello. Um, and if you remember from before, uh, there are now uh, hidden extras in the sense of... You remember when there was like that uh, Turtle Island, as people called it, um, and whatever, so... I don't think there are any surprises in that sense. Um, it kind of looks like there's something there. Now I've just noticed there's a shrine there which looks like it's underwater. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what, what this is about. <laughs> kind of broken map. Uh, so, yeah, looks like we've got a couple of chests in the world. Well, a few chests in the world today. Another one I have up there. Remember, this is a beta. I mean, this is, you know. Ooh, there's more of that stuff. Ooh, pretty. I wonder what that is. <laughs> uh, I mean, somebody might know. I mean, obviously, people have played a lot more than me. I mean, I've, I've had other stuff to play and, and do and stuff, so I haven't really had much chance of well, keeping on top of things like I used to. So, uh, excuse me for not knowing as much as other people would, would do. Um, but anyway, oh. There's another chest out in the album. So that's basically it. Um, uh, there's nothing else I can say really at the moment. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh, please join me next time and hopefully it will be 
as informative as usual. Goodbye!